Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the Xfinity series here at Las Vegas. Uh, fast as I got down to it was like a point mid point five, something like that. We'll see if I can do the same here in qualifying. We're car eighteen out of twenty five, so it's not that bad. We don't have too much expectations at least, which is nice. But this is the season finale of the Xfinity series this season. Week twelve, next week, week thirteen. Don't know what exactly they're gonna have up. But I know there's a new late model coming out. Like, the late model is getting an update, which is exciting. Might run those next season. I think I still want to run this Xfinity car. It's been a lot of fun this year. So, I might stick with it. Try to run up here, get some speed for our lap. And you need to run right on the inside line, basically. Get the grip, because there's like a distinct, like, pull down in turn one at least. Yep, I got that. Gets a little loose. It's more loose in three and four to me. I don't know why, it just always is, but hopefully we don't spin out here. It's a little easy on throttle coming off. This will probably be our fast lap of the two. Yep, I ran a 566 in practice, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, you need to get right down there by that white line. It pulls you down on to the inside more. If you miss it just by like half a lane or something, you're like pushing really hard. So I think that's going to be key to saving some tires. Didn't quite get the bottom there in three and four. We're pushing up pretty hard. I think tire conserving is going to be difficult, but I think we can do it pretty decently, hopefully. Second lap was a 728. Not terrible. So far, we're fourth, but I think a lot of the, the faster guys haven't hit their laps yet. So I'm happy with the time we ran. 564, I am very happy with that. But I've seen some guys get down to the threes, and they're just absolutely flying. I think one guy in my last practice was a 390. So, so far, we are fourth. That's not terrible. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, a bunch of these guys have not hit their times yet. I think he either hit the wall or, yeah, he's on his second lap now. Probably around that top side first lap. So, hell, I'm happy. Just We'll be qualified pretty decently. We'll be top 10, I imagine, most likely. So, we got 45 laps here. Hopefully, it can go pretty green. Yeah, he hit a 384. That is flying, man. But, uh, like I said, I'm happy with my time. We'll be starting pretty far towards the front, and hopefully, we don't ruin it in this race. All right, we only fell back to seventh. I think the uh, two, four, and five, actually the five might already been up here. I think it was eight, two, and four beat me in the laps after we already hit ours. So, hey, we're still qualified pretty well. We're car 18, which is awesome being at this high up already. We so hopefully we could hold this spot, try to finish top 10 in this race. I think that'd be a good goal for us. We got two sets of tires. I wouldn't be shocked that there's some cautions in this one. We didn't have any cautions last week at Auto Club, which was a lot of fun. I'm sad that track's going away, but it will be a like a big short track. Apparently, is what it's going to be like a like a Martinsville with banking. Apparently, that's what I've heard like the most of. So it's going to be crazy, whatever they do. But I'm sad that track's gone. At least we still have it on iRacing. That will never go away, probably. And uh, we can always go back and run that because it was a good track. I did enjoy that track a lot. Had some decent success there. Uh, I won in the Arca car like a few weeks ago there. Uh, the Xfinity race did pretty good for me there as well. So I was very happy with that. But hopefully we can have a pretty good start here. We will be on the bottom. So I got to be careful about not hitting the uh, white line and bouncing up. Because I want to get right down there by that white line like we did in qualifying. Every lap in turn one at least. Three and four, you can get down low. I don't know if the very, very bottom is the fastest. Well, it probably is. It probably hooks you a little bit too, but I haven't really hit it like I have in one and two, I guess. <laughs> but that one and two line down there, like you feel the car drop a little bit and you really hook and go, which is really weird. I don't know how to explain it. That's what I felt when I was driving and doing the practice for it. Still waiting on some people to join up. We're going to probably go out to the time remaining 10 more seconds, and then we'll start rolling. Additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Hopefully we can stay out of any accidents if there is any in this one. Try to get a good start here being on the bottom with the leader. I won't be able to see him very well, probably. I don't know if the restart zone is here. I imagine it would be. I imagine like it, they wouldn't force it here. I'm not 100% sure. 
but really want to try to save our tires because I know we're really low car numbers so it'll be a decently good strength of field I don't think it'd be as good as last week at Auto Club because it was like 4200 or 4400 it was crazy and uh this one probably won't be as high but it'll still probably be like 4k 3900 or something so I, we could go green all the way to the end it's weird but anything can happen I'd be really happy with a fully green race I want to try to save my tires off the start because if we get short runs that's where I'm going to really lose some spots probably because people are just going to be sending it and then everybody comes in takes tires because tires matter and then everybody sends it again while I'm still trying to save tires and then more cautions don't really help me I just hope we could stay out of the uh, carnage with it being the beginning of the race hopefully everybody takes it a little easy trying to save tires well if they don't if they try to go by on the outside go ahead you're gonna burn up tires more doing that and uh we'll hopefully pass them back later in the race if we can get a long green run might have to go up to that restart zone up there but i'm not 100 percent sure so got to be ready nope don't have to go all the way up to it it is a little bit bumpy down here but not much this track's actually pretty like smooth down there compared to some tracks on the uh, bottom like tri-oval okay let them run the outside burn up their stuff hopefully so I'm gonna try to take it a little easy not use as much throttle as we were in qualifying and stuff so we don't push too hard off these corners 13 car really wants to go places already. That had a weird wiggle. Yeah, that guy wants to go places. He's running it like it's qualifying right now. Have fun. Eight car up there blocked really hard. Like going into the corner, he just went straight low. If I can get under the six car, that'd be good. Get him to try to wear his tires out more. Not gonna be able to get there, that's fine. Oh, yeah, he's trying to go flying by right now. People that are like trying to get spots right now are on the outside. I feel like I'm a little quicker than this eight car. He might yeet down here, yeah. Didn't want to run him over on entry. Because I had a feeling he was gonna come down regardless. I could have stuck my nose in there, but I think we just would have caused a, a wreck for no reason. So we're back to 10th, but that's all right. I'm, I'm okay with our positioning right now. Because we qualified so well, I can afford to lose some spots with the guys really trying to send it right now, which is fine with me. Because I think in 10, 15 laps, they're going to be really struggling on their tires trying to turn off these corners. They're going to be really tight. Had to go in a little low there to try to protect from behind me. We're three wide. Yeah, these guys really want to get spots like early. Like, it looks like we're really slow right now because we are going slow right now. But that's completely fine. Kind of playing kind of a little bit how I predicted it in the beginning. Some people are just going to send it, and if we get cautions, it's going to really suck. I thought that guy was going to be behind. Oh, geez. I don't know if the eight car went down the block or give the lane to the guy on the outside. But that was sketchy. I thought he was going to get wrecked down into, into me. Okay, this eight car is holding us up a little bit though. Because I've been taking it easy with Yusuf for the most part. I want to get to his inside. Try to get by him. Guess we're going to his outside. Oh, we're going to be three wide, aren't we? No, not quite. Pinch him down a little. Uh, 
Try not to use up my tires too much. Clear, 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 clear. One and two, I feel like, is where you're going to burn your tires up more, though. I don't want to really send it in one and two yet. It's too early. If somebody constantly hits the wall, that van's uh, paint scheme where it says off the wall would be perfect for somebody. Like, it makes so much sense if they just, like, bounce off the wall all the time. That'd be hilarious. Okay, it seems like people have kind of calmed down on sending it so hard, except for those guys up there that are nearly three wide. We're just trying to keep it right down there on that white line. I wonder if using a little bit of brake to get it to rotate down there would be useful. I'm gonna try it in three and four a little bit, see if it helps us. Yusuf's starting to push a little bit now, it seems. Go back forward. I recognize his name a little bit. I feel like I've raced him a, a few times here and there. He's usually pretty quick, I think. Probably should have slid up all the way because I'm going to be on the outside. Three and four slides around a little bit, so I don't have to use as much of the right front as I will in one and two. This middle in one and two is not bad. Okay. That's quite interesting. I saw like the leader in maybe second place running that and it has some decent grip, honestly. So maybe I need to run that middle a little bit in one and two. Oh, it seems like a lot of people are running that actually. Quite interesting. But Yusa is making his way back forward now. Yeah, they're battling pretty hard up there in that little pack. Pack of about five of them. Let's see if I can try to get back by this 12 car. Try to get the hook down here. Get it rotated down there. Not enough uh, that I need it at least. I think that middle is a little faster. Three and four seems a little bit more bottom dominant. I can't quite see the leaders going into three as well as I can into turn one. tried to get to his outside oh geez I got the wall one guy missed me another guy didn't uh, we save it at least but got a 4x for it and we're going way back so that's unfortunate that's what I get I guess for trying to push it too hard went from where we were running all the way to last that sucks and have some rear end and front right damage that's unfortunate. Oh, and we get a caution. I don't know where the caution's for there, but we're gonna have to come in and get everything fixed. Okay, so what, what was the fun of that one before, huh? Oh, that wrecked right in front of us. Like, that would've been right in front of me in that small group, it seems, because uh, Trey was fourth position, so he was in that small group of about five cars. I don't understand it. You see us wrecking. Oh, you see people wrecking and then you could do it. So that's gonna bring out the caution. It didn't for me. Because I didn't spin what's out all the, the way. Uh, what's that idle for these things? 2000. 2000 is what you wanted at. But we got a caution here. So I'm going to go get the car fixed, oh, yeah. get new <laughs> tires, and I'll bring you guys back. All right. We had about a minute 50 ish of damage. I got a minute of it fixed. I have about like 50, 55 seconds left. We're trying to catch up to the back of the field right now. Because they're on one to green. Hopefully the car drives all right. 
Because it's all mainly rear end damage. I got a little bit of right side damage. You can see a little bit on the right front still. Like it poked up a little bit, but I don't think it'll be too, too bad. People were saying their tire numbers. My tires were a little skewed from the slide, I would imagine, but I think I still burnt out my right front more than I we're needed good. to. No, my right rear, I think, was a little bit more burnt off from the slide. But we'll see how, how the car that? drives here. Hopefully it drives Please, fine. At least nothing was uh, required damage. Ready, green flag. It was all optional. Might be a little bit arrow uh, hurt, but that's all right. It's really not all right, but we're going to do our best that we can. Damn, the 12 car is all screwed up, and that's the guy I was right behind when I wrecked. So we might have been caught up in that wreck if uh, I didn't hit the wall myself anyways. Who knows? Okay, car does not seem too fast, which is not good. We did get a new set of tires and everything still. Like, I didn't skip out on my tires or anything like that. So, we're going to ride in the back right now. Hope for another wreck at this point. Try to take it somewhat easy, not wreck the car more than it already is. We'll see if we could run anybody down at all. I'm just disappointed I screwed myself up. Like, I was really just trying to get to his outside and just went a little too hard there in that middle lane. That middle lane has a lot of grip, too, so I thought it was really going to hook, and uh, it just kind of kept drifting out and nailed the wall on the exit. Nailed the safer barrier. But we'll go back and see what that other wreck was after the uh, race anyways. Because I'm interested to see what happened with them. Apparently that little pack up there was three wide and somebody blinked and phased through somebody else. And that's what kind of caused it. Not 100% sure. That's what people were typing at least. Or at least one guy was. But the intensity is probably going to ramp up a little bit for some people. I'm trying to make passes now. Because there's a lot less laps left. But I was like, just one lap too early trying to make a move, and we would have had a caution, which would, I wouldn't have been happy with the caution anyways, but I wouldn't have wrecked myself at least. <laughs> but I'm very disappointed I did that. And I screwed up some other people too, for sure. Because I screwed up one guy that missed me. He checked up, missed me, and then somebody else ran straight in the back of me because they had no clue what was going on, obviously. Like, he was straight behind the other guy that weaved out the way. And then I got hit behind, then hit the guy that weaved to miss me. Catching the 11 car now. Okay. And was there a reason for that? We're in last. Like, I was just going to take that middle lane and go, but he really wanted to come down and, or come up and block going into the corner. Outside. Try not to go up and hit him in the left rear. Probably burn out the right front doing that. Because I definitely feel like we're a little quicker than him right now. Saw a little bit of smoke. That might have been from the car that was way high and got in the wall. Cars are a little bit, not loose, but like unsteady coming off of these corners a little bit. Because if you come off and you have to pull it off the wall the slightest bit and you try to pull it back right, like you're weaving a little bit, it feels loose, like it, it's not all the way under you. It's interesting. I'm going to run the bottom. I'm trying to get all the way down to the white line. I'm trying not to run straight into the back of the 11 car. I think he might be down on power, potentially. I don't remember if he was the one that asked what the um, RPMs for the car was. Because if he's down on power, I'm fine on power as far as I know.
want to get by him. Somebody else is in the wall up there, it looks like. And I was just looking ahead and followed the 11 car. He missed the wall, but I scraped it. I was looking too far ahead at the guys that were like two, three, almost two. Uh, they were too wide for sure. I don't know if they were any close to three. And the car that was up there by the wall, I was just looking too far ahead, not paying attention to myself. He's going way high there. It's interesting. Maybe try to build up as much momentum as he can. I have no clue. I'm definitely faster than him, though. Outside. Still there. I'm going to try to hold that middle outside lane on me. Still out there. It's going to kill my right front for me trying not to go up on him. Still outside. Yeah, we pull him down the straightaway. He has some engine damage. Like 100%. I just need to freaking get by him. If I could have gotten to his outside, that would have been great. I think I keep seeing smoke in turn one, but maybe there's not smoke in turn one. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little bit of the weird shadow lighting stuff. Yeah, he doesn't have the speed to get back by us there. All right, we should be able to pull away from the 11 now. I've already killed my tires, I imagine, trying to get by him on the low side. So we'll try to catch the 12 if we can, but this is just going to be a long, boring race now if uh, there's no more cautions. Just don't slide up into me. He is sliding up slowly. Jesus. I don't like that. Got right there on that white line, but didn't hold it very well. Yeah, I think my tire's already shot. It's so bad. Give him some dirty air, getting in front of him. Get him to wash up the track. Because the draft is not fun in the corner. It really makes you push pretty hard. That's why I was trying to get out of the draft when I was going into the corner also. I didn't want to run into the back of him or just get that tightness from it. Which I still is getting some tight from it, just turning and staying on the low side. Oh, maybe we do have some engine damage and I don't know how we would because we didn't hit the very front end on anything really to get the engine damage but oh well figures I was I had a really good qualifying and everything and then screwed myself up in the race that was a terrible corner roasted the right front in that one Like, I low-key would be shocked if I don't go a lap down by the end of this race <laughs> with how slow we are right now. It's probably a combination of the damage, and if we have engine damage, then that would definitely be a major key of it. And then me just roasting my tires currently. Because we had some decent speed, for sure. Don't know if I saved my tires at all in the beginning. We'll never know. So I felt like we were starting to get go forward a little bit there until I got the wall. Even though I didn't pass a car yet, I was getting to the outside of the 12, or trying to at least. But yeah, I think Xfinity is at like Portland or something this week. It's not actually Las Vegas, but I, Portland's not in iRacing at least yet so I think they just threw him at Vegas since everything else is here this week makes sense 
Unless Xfinity does run here and then they go to Portland afterwards. I'm not 100% sure. I don't follow the Xfinity schedule too well. I know that they're going to Portland soon. It makes sense that they're at Vegas this week with everything else. Leader is 14 seconds behind me at the line. Let's see how much he catches me in one lap. I think he's too far out. He'd have to catch me like two seconds a lap to lap us. Don't hit that apron. I hit it a little bit, so I got off the gas a little. Definitely gonna catch me a second a lap for sure, I would think. But we didn't have too much expectation coming into the race. I had some expectation for myself, try to get the top 10 with how we qualified at least. But our car number is 18, so I figured we'd be a little slower. Yeah, he caught us by about like seven, eight tenths in that one lap. The leader did at least. And the 11 car is not too far back from us still. I think he might have caught us a little bit that last lap. Yeah, we're like maybe eight tenths slower than the leader or something like that. Per lap around that I would imagine and I might have burned off my tires even more because the 11 car is definitely catching us now I low-key want a caution but at the same time I don't I almost got the wall there I had a lift coming onto the straightaway which is never a good thing we're in 33 second laps so that is awful Try to run this middle lane if possible. Try to keep up the momentum. Still want the low side in three and four though. Yeah, he just gets on throttle a lot earlier than I do. In three and four it seems. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a caution because we can try to get the rest of our damage fixed and get another set of tires for the end and hopefully it wrecked out some people so we can get some spots. That's the main thing. I think that's the only way I'm getting some spots at this point. I missed the bottom there pretty bad. At least I missed the wall. Killed the right front still. He probably wants to my outside, but I do not want to okay. give him the outside. Oh, that might be a caution. I'm not surprised. No. Walking like a damn ass. Well, that's on the one whole spot. Time. And I'm gonna give it right back from hitting the wall. What are you talking about? I guess he got spun too far inside. It didn't uh, bring out the caution. Hero block for 15th is fun. I didn't block anybody. Couple more laps. Let's go. Couple more laps around. You me so far on the bottom. Trying to hold off the 11. I'm not really like trying to block him. I'm just trying to get to the bottom in the corner. In three and four at least. Leader's only nine seconds back, but we got two laps left. Yeah, leader's so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Well, it wasn't a good season finale in the Xfinity series, unfortunately for us. I do want to redo this race this weekend or something if I have time. Because it is a fun track. I think I just killed myself with that wall hit. See if we could hold off the oh eleven here on the last lap. I literally scraped the wall out of four. Oh, 
Sebastian. Thank you. Good race. Yeah, good win, man. Good race. Man. Side, side, side. Not trying to get spotted for no reason. <laughs> and we hold him off. We get 22nd. It is what it is. Unfortunate for us. I killed myself with the wall hit, though. That was all my fault for hitting the wall. I want to go back and see what happened there in that lap after uh, we got in the wall because there was a wreck right in front of us where the 12 car ended up in it. So I'm interested to see exactly what happened there. Let's go back to the beginning. They say 72, 71. My car, I killed my right front. I knew that. that. That damage did not help at all either. That's probably why I was killing my tires too. Seven car scrapes the wall there. This is lap eight. 17 going to get it off of two, just barely with the right rear. This is where I was trying to get to the outside of the 12 and just barely pushed too hard. Nailed the wall there. The 99 checked out for me. The 16 had no clue that was happening. And if I got engine damage from that front hit right there, then that's that sucks. But look at the damage to the rear end. That was bad. And then this was literally the lap after. Oh, geez. Oh, I think the 19 might have blinked like somebody was saying because it, he like ended up in that guy's car. So that's unfortunate. Just spun him out. And the four is going spinning. Where's the 12 car that ended up in it? Oh, he was checking up. That's unfortunate completely. You tell me where I pinched you, 20? Mm -hmm. So he sees the wreck happening. He's getting on the brakes. Oh, he can't turn. He locked them up. That's unfortunate. Ended up in it. I think we could have missed that if, uh, if I was still right there behind him. So that's unfortunate for the four, really, because uh, they were having a good race up there. 13 gets the wall off turn four, just barely. And then it went green to the end, of course. That makes sense. I, I figured it could have been a whole green race. It really would have been if uh, that guy didn't blink and cause the wreck. 11 car got the wall right in front of us. 54 car. This is up in sixth place. I think he like net coded the wall. He was really close, but I don't think he actually got it. And that is where he's talking about, maybe? I don't know. It seemed like the 20 was trying to turn in and the 22 was like taking a little bit different of a line. They just got together a little bit. I think this is where I was looking too far ahead and got the wall off turn two. I remember that. Because I think it was this guy, the 13, that the 20 was mad at or spun. I'm not sure. Little laps. This 34. 21 got real wide there. Got in the wall. The 11 car was chasing us down for a while. It seems like he got the wall behind me, which I didn't see, maybe. Because I was going really close to that wall. I was hoping he'd follow me and nail it. 16 got off the gas enough to barely tap the wall. Maybe tap the wall there, like net coated. I don't know. He's going to hit it on entry. 17 is running wide in three and four. Barely gets it with the right rear. I just want to see what that one wreck was. Where that guy got spun. Where was it? 15 cars running this outside. He's going to get the wall off of two. Didn't get it too bad, but still got it. 17 wiggling a little bit. I guess got the... I guess he got the wall. Oh, what the hell? Uh, the 17 uh, kind of came up there, in my opinion. The 13 was just riding up there on the wall. Like, he was still in his lane. The 17 kind of just came up and bumped him. So, I this wreck was on the 17. I don't know what he was talking about with the 20. Unless, like, there was a time before with the 20 or something like that. I don't know. 21 clipped him, unfortunately. 13's trying to save it. Spins it out, though. He finishes behind us from that, so at least we got a spot out of it. That was lucky for us. 15 and 16, running for, like, 20th side-by-side. Side, running really hard. 23 up here in first on the final lap. Uh, he net codes the wall. Doesn't really get it. Oh, Yusuf got the wall just barely. He had a good race. I was trying to follow him in the beginning, then uh, I got the wall, obviously. So, wasn't able to follow him out through the rest of the race. He got he got fifth there, so good race by them. Oh, actually, he got fourth. That was fourth, fourth, and fifth. So, unfortunately, we got the wall. Killed ourselves uh, outside and uh, real early, too, which is unfortunate. Had a lot of damage.
killed the tires the rest of the race anyways i think from that damage because what was my car looking like at the end of that anyways oh yeah it still had a massive dent in the back which really sucks that didn't help for any arrow and i don't think the front of the car was bad a little bit of uh nose damage because of the the front right and then when we tapped the other car and we got spun but mainly that rear damage was just so bad that rear damage was awful it was so warped but uh finish 22nd gonna lose a decent bit of i rating i think so let's go see what we end up losing out of this one all right results in strength of field was just over 4k like i figured it was going to be pretty high we lost 49 of that unfortunate loss under the 3300 again uh guy started first finished first led every lap he was super fast out front one by over a second as well he was just really solid up there didn't even have to run the fastest lap or anything just best at average really just saved his tires we fell all the way back here lost some safety as well 0.03 but we only had a 4x at least wasn't too bad uh this could have been worse we could have lost as much as the uh five car down here at 127 so that's unfortunate but we lost a little bit i figured that was going to happen because I, I ruined myself in that race by getting the wall that was all on me so wish i wouldn't have done that so unfortunate i might redo this race over the weekend not sure so appreciate you guys for watching as always. If you're still watching, really appreciate you and I'll catch you guys in the next one.